it's that time. time of year again. That's right. It's time to talk about psychedelic Santa Claus. Did you know that the Santa Claus myth actually originates with psychedelic shamanism around psychedelic mushrooms nonetheless? I'm here with you today and our old friend Amanita muscaria. This mushroom is what legends are made of. Now what you see here is an orange cap variety grown here in Kentucky. They are all around the world. Uh, they form symbiotic relationship with pine and spruce trees. I actually found these mushrooms in a big beautiful circle surrounding a giant pine tree last year. So let's go back to where the story of Santa Claus really comes from, shall we? Perhaps you've heard of the word shaman. Did you know that that word originates with the Tungus tribe in Siberia? And the shaman is the one who walks between worlds. Now, you may also know that shamanic practices often incorporate altered states, some through drumming, some through dancing, some through fasting, and my favorite, through psychedelics. Now, the Tungus shamans in Siberia, in particular, hunted the Amanita muscaria mushroom. And in that part of the world, this mushroom fruits, that's right, during the winter solstice. And when it fruits, it fruits beautifully in a symbiotic relationship surrounding, again, pine and spruce trees. The shamans themselves, where these mushrooms grow, dress in red and white to mimic the mushrooms in that region that also grow red and white. Now, imagine if you will, a wise old bearded shaman who is foraging for these mushrooms in a beautiful thick pine forest. And lo and behold, he encounters a big beautiful pine tree that is surrounded by red and white mushrooms. And these mushrooms, when they grow, they start out small and globular. And as they grow and expand, they can become as large as dinner plates and are brilliant. And you can see them all through the forest. So as our shaman travels through the forest, harvesting mushrooms from around these trees, like any good mushroom picker, he knows not to just throw them all in a bag because you've got hours of harvesting ahead of you and every time you set that bag down or move it around, you're gonna break up those beautiful mushrooms. So what does he do? Well, he takes them and hangs the fresh mushrooms in a live tree so that they stay safe while he picks all that he can carry. Now, again, using your imagination, step back and see this forest filled with pine spruce trees. Their branches loaded with beautiful red globe-shaped or disc-shaped mushrooms. And once he's done all of his picking and all of the mushrooms are ready to take home, well, then that shaman will go back through the forest and open up his big old bag and fill it with fungus and go ho 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 to finish drying them. And where does he finish drying them? Of course, in stockings over the fire. Now, just to add a little more evidence to our myth here, these Tungu shaman, not only did they dress red and white to look like the mushrooms and honor the mushrooms, not only did they collect these gifts from around the tree, not only did they hang these mushrooms as decorations in the tree, but his spirit animal, because all good shamans have a spirit animal, right? Was, you guessed it, a reindeer. The only other animal that we know of that will actively consume Amanita muscaria. And where does the shaman sit on his visionary quest after consuming these mushrooms? Why, on a reindeer skin, of course. And with him, he has jingle bells to help keep the rhythm as he ascends and traverses the night sky. Lastly, but certainly not least, the shaman, as they deliver these gifts to other members of their community, again, during the winter solstice, does not enter the front door. 
He doesn't leave them on the doorstep. No, the tradition is that he enters through the snow hatch. Now, they don't have chimneys, but they did have a rooftop entrance because when you live in Siberia, very often the snow will block the doorway. So our secret Santa slips in through the night and delivers these gifts to members of the community through the snow hatch. Maybe that's not enough evidence to prove to you that Santa Claus has a psychedelic origin. And if not, that I would encourage you to check out the documentary that the BBC did on this or look at the plethora of Christmas decorations from the early 1900s that depict Santa Claus with Amanita muscaria mushrooms and, of course, elves. That's right, because who else loves mushrooms but the reindeers and Santa Claus? The elves! So, if you need any more evidence, then I suggest that you don't consume Amanita muscaria mushrooms. They are powerful and they are nothing like psilocybin and they are not for the fainted heart. They're actually toxic. They can kill you. 28 grams is a lethal dose for most individuals. I have consumed them and I will tell you that it is an experience like unlike any other. Now, with that word of caution, I will also encourage you to seek out other sources of information around Amanita muscaria. As we're becoming more familiar with the magic of mushrooms, this mushroom is sure to capture your imagination and maybe even work its way into your life. The active compound in this mushroom that produces its effect is muscimol. Before you start consuming any Amanita muscaria in any quantity though, let me give you just a little bit of the chemistry behind it. The toxic compound in Amanita muscaria is ibotenic acid and it can kill you. And it also produces some very unpleasant side effects that I have experienced and I will tell you from experience that you don't want any part of unless you like wobbly vision, excessive drooling, and the certainty that you're going to die. What is interesting about ibotenic acid though is that with just a little bit of processing, the proper processing, it can convert into muscimol. Muscimol fits nicely into the GABA receptors and is good for brain health. There have been studies that show that muscimol improves decision making, especially in elderly populations. There are companies that are selling Amanita muscaria products out there right now. Be sure that they're safe. Be sure that you're following the instructions. And also be aware that muscimol has a reverse tolerance, which means the more you consume, the more sensitive you are to it. A good friend of mine who ate just a little bit too much too frequently found himself cursing in Russian despite not knowing any Russian. So just in case you needed any more reason to celebrate Christmas, if you didn't already know, it is our most psychedelic holiday. Happy holidays. I'll see you on the other side of the mushroom. Yo ho ho. What? Laden with beautiful, whoops, to dry. <clears throat>